What kind of fight can Jake Paul expect from a Mike Tyson uh, that's energized with LF Go? Constant pressure. Constant in the face all night. Uh, listen, I think he's taking it very, very seriously because his health depends on it. <laughs> and yeah, he's, 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 he's not, he's nobody I'm looking at. Um, I'm not looking past him. I'm taking him lightly at all. Mike Tyson has just dropped a bombshell update before his fight with Jake Paul. Meanwhile, boxing's high-profile promoter Eddie Hearn has voiced strong opposition to the highly anticipated bout scheduled for November. In an interview with Michael Benson, Hearn firmly stated that he won't be sticking around to watch the much-anticipated November 15th rematch between Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano, despite being the promoter. His decision to leave stems from serious reservations about Tyson's age and the dangers posed by what he views as an uneven matchup. During the interview, Hearn didn't mince words, I think it's a huge shame that one of the big legends of the sport is coming back to the ring 20 years after everyone agreed he should stop boxing. He's 58 years old. That's dangerous, he said. Hearn stressed that pitting a veteran like Tyson, at his age, against a 27-year-old such as Jake Paul is a clear disregard for both the integrity of the sport and Tyson's health. Hearn has often expressed his disdain for what he calls celebrity boxing spectacles, but his critique of the Tyson-Paul fight digs deeper than mere disapproval. His main worry centers on Mike Tyson's safety as the 58-year-old prepares to face an opponent over 30 years his junior. If he gets hurt, then it's on those people who allowed this to happen," Hearn warned. For Hearn, this fight poses a considerable threat to Tyson's well-being, a risk made even more alarming given Tyson's previous health struggles in recent years. The bout had already been delayed once due to those very concerns a red flag Hearn believes should not have been ignored. Yet despite his reservations, the matchup still commands widespread attention, more for the star power it boasts than for any legitimate sporting significance. Many are treating it as a spectacle rather than a competitive contest. With the fight approaching, the boxing world is sharply split. Hearn's warnings resonate with many fans and pundits who label the matchup reckless and risky. On the other hand, there's a surge of excitement among those eager to witness Tyson, a revered icon of the sport, step back into the ring despite the dangers. For some, this bout offers a chance to see two of the most buzzworthy names in today's boxing landscape collide. Tyson, a living legend, and Jake Paul, the social media star turned fighter, in what promises to be a media spectacle. Amid the uproar over the Paul Tyson bout, Eddie Hearn has remained unwavering in backing Katie Taylor's highly anticipated rematch with Amanda Serrano. He hailed the showdown as a defining moment in Taylor's career and a contest that genuinely upholds the integrity of boxing. But when it comes to Tyson's return, Hearn is firm, I'll watch Katie Taylor, and then I'm out. With November on the horizon, the buzz surrounding the fight intensifies. Will it live up to the hype, delivering the spectacle fans expect? or will Hearn's cautions be validated? One thing remains undeniable. The showdown between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul is quickly becoming one of the most polarizing boxing events of the year. On the other hand, Mike Tyson's friend and former trainer believes that his fight with Jake Paul may be the easiest money of his career. Australian boxing legend Jeff Finnick is no stranger to Mike Tyson, having worked with the former heavyweight champion during the twilight of his career in the mid-2000s. Finnick, who stood in Tyson's corner during his final professional bout, a knockout loss to Kevin McBride in 2005, expresses concern about Tyson's decision to return to the ring. However, he also feels that if Tyson fights strategically, it could be a quick victory for his longtime friend. If it was my decision, I'd much prefer him not fight at all. But he's going to fight, Finnick told Mirror Fighting. He added, I've spoken to him a few times recently. I spoke to him about the fight. Realistically, if Mike uses upstairs and nothing else and does the right things, this could be the easiest money he's ever made. When you're both throwing punches, it's a 50 to 50 thing, who lands? But if Mike concentrates and makes him miss and then makes him pay, that's what Mike's an expert in. He's got great head movement. Finnick further said, if he does that, in 30 seconds, the fight could be over. In 30 seconds, Mike just needs to use his common sense. Don't try to punch when he's punching. Make him miss and make him pay. Jake Paul has triumphed in 10 out of his 11 fights, suffering his sole loss to Tommy Fury. However, none in his weight class compare to Tyson. 
Fennec warns that the social media sensation is in for a shocking experience when he finally encounters Tyson's formidable strength. As per Fennec, Jake Paul doesn't have the skill, the boxing knowledge. I've watched him, but anyone can punch a pad or a bag or someone who really can't fight. When you're bigger and you're stronger, that's all good. But Mike, as a heavyweight, was a great defensive fighter. He could slip and make people miss. If he does that and lands a counterpunch, then the fight is going to be over. He further mentioned, there's not a chance in the world Jake Paul can take a Mike Tyson hook, a Mike Tyson right hand, or a Mike Tyson uppercut. That's what I'm hoping for. I love Mike. He's a great friend. I feel like I'm gonna take a little break. You know, I, I think no. I've been going. <laughs> I'm gonna pull an Aiden Ross and just disappear, hey, man. What the f dude? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just go off grid. And sip lean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not that. Probably not that. Dude, so you're but, not a but, Yeah, you're I don't know what I'm gonna do though. I don't know. I just like But I'm saying are you I'm gonna, gonna keep, my, are you gonna keep are you gonna my keep plan is just to get, Yeah, I'm gonna keep fighting for sure, but I'm just saying my plan is to get through November fifteenth, have the best performance possible, knock Mike Tyson out, and then just see how I'm feeling oh. based off of that. He's like family to me. I just hope everything goes well. Now we know that Mike Tyson's health scare in May has left some boxing enthusiasts anxious about his upcoming match against Jake Paul next month. However, not everyone shares those concerns. Combat sports icon Quentin Rampage Jackson confidently tells TMZ Sports that he remains firmly in Tyson's corner. Jackson assures us he would never gamble against Mike, even after he dealt with the ulcer flare-up that forced the fight to be rescheduled from the summer to November 15th. He's my favorite boxer, Rampage said. While he acknowledged, father time is undefeated, that won't deter Jackson from rocking with one of the goats against his much younger opponent. He said, anything can happen in the boxing ring, but I ain't going to go against Mike Tyson. The reporter also inquired with Rampage regarding Tyson's remarks from his recent guest spot on Jimmy Kimmel Live. During the show, Iron Mike hinted at the possibility of fighting while under the influence, adding that he isn't approaching the idea with much seriousness. Jackson said, I don't know about that. Mike Tyson is probably just talking at Sage Asterisk team, man. Rampage says he doesn't think fighters should smoke pot before competing, since he thinks it can only hurt rather than help. Regardless of whether Tyson was sincere, Jackson believes Tyson will have enough in the tank, high or not. To shut that kid up, AS excitement builds for Kid Dynamite's return to the ring, former UFC champion Conor McGregor has stepped in to share some valuable advice with the 58-year-old boxing legend. Despite the unique rules of the fight, which will be streamed on Netflix and feature eight two-minute rounds with both competitors donning 14-ounce gloves, fans are still buzzing with anticipation to witness what the most feared fighter in his prime has in store. Among them is the former UFC lightweight champion, the charismatic Conor McGregor, who encouraged the boxing icon to rattle Paul's cages in the ring. As the YouTuber turned boxer prepares to face his second toughest challenge to date, McGregor said of the Tyson Paul fight, I hope Mike rattles the little dope. No one gives AF asterisk 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 about him. When it comes to delivering knockout blows, no one does it quite like Mike Tyson. Hailing from New York, Tyson earned a daunting reputation early in his career finishing his first 19 bouts with stunning knockouts and claiming the world championship title at just 20 years old. McGregor told Tyson via a social media live stream, You had a little health scare. I don't know what happened to you on the plane, but you look great now, mate. You look great now for real. So off you go. You love to see it. Throughout his career, Tyson achieved victory in 50 bouts, overpowering 44 opponents with his remarkable peekaboo fighting technique. This style allowed him to evade defenses effortlessly while unleashing a flurry of devastating punches. But can he halt Paul? The 58-year-old father of seven recently faced a health scare, battling an ulcer flare-up in May that pushed the originally scheduled fight from July 20th to November. Is he fit enough to step into the ring? McGregor confidently asserts that he is. Meanwhile, Mike Tyson has explained what led to his ulcer in May which forced him to postpone his much-anticipated fight with Jake Paul, now set for November 15th at AT&T Stadium. Tyson announced that he is currently free of ulcers, attributing his prior health problems to his diet. Tyson revealed, I was doing too much bad food and stuff, and I got sick. 
He declared that he was eating clean and staying away from processed foods ahead of his bout with Paul, who was 31 years younger than him. He also added that he was still vaping, can't escape the vapes, he said. The former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world was questioned about how his matchup with Paul might influence his legacy. However, it's evident that he remains unfazed by the potential judgments others might make regarding his career. He said, I didn't take this fight for legacy. I think legacy, really, to my perspective, is ego. Who gives a f asterisk 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 how people think about them when they are gone? I'm dead. I can't value off what somebody might think about me when I'm dead. So it means nothing to me. Tyson stated that Paul was taking the fight very seriously. He added that his brand of energy supplements will help him focus more on breaking his bones. Paul, on the other hand, has also been confident before the bout. In September, he announced he would offer Tyson an additional $5 million if he could endure beyond four rounds. However, he added a quirky twist. If Tyson fell short, he would have to ink I love Jake Paul on his body. Paul, who first gained popularity as a YouTuber, has defeated Tommy Fury by split decision just once in his 10 professional fights. Even though he really wants to injure Jake Paul, Mike Tyson has acknowledged that he actually likes the guy. With this newfound confidence, Iron Mike declares himself prepared to face Paul. When Tyson appeared on Jimmy Kimmel Live, he was asked about the controversial former YouTuber. He said, I like him, but in this particular fight, he has to go. I don't look at this like it's going to be an easy fight. This guy is going to be prepared, but I'm prepared for it, sure. When told that Paul would be scared to fight him, Tyson added, well, that's part of fighting. I'm nervous too, but the closer it gets to the fight, the less nervous I get. I'm training extremely hard. I start at 11 a.m., and I might leave the gym at 5 p.m. When I finish doing my boxing sessions, I'll get a massage for an hour, and then I go into strength and conditioning. With a current record of 50 wins, including 44 by knockout and 6 losses, many believe this fight could have a significant impact on his legacy. However, Tyson remains unfazed by these concerns. Tyson hasn't stepped into the ring for a competitive fight since his defeat to Kevin McBride in 2005. In contrast, Paul has achieved an impressive record of 10 wins, 7 of which came by knockout and just one loss. Notably, he recently halted bare-knuckle boxing champion Mike Perry in July, delivering knockdowns in the first, second, and sixth rounds. Mike Tyson, the former heavyweight champion, isn't planning to put in extra hours in the boxing ring, even at age 58. Tyson said at a news conference to announce his collaboration with Let's Expletive Go Energy Pouches, if I don't have to catch him, you can expect a round one knockout. But I may have to catch him because I anticipate this guy running from me. Since defeating Clifford Etienne in February 2003, Tyson has not secured a victory in professional boxing. He faced two consecutive stoppage losses to Danny Williams and Kevin McBride, ultimately leading to his retirement in 2005 at the age of 38. Nearly two decades have passed since his last bout, yet Tyson claims to feel remarkable as he approaches this upcoming match. He attributes his positive outlook to a more stable personal life, which contrasts sharply with the chaotic period he experienced during his reign as heavyweight champion. Tyson said, When I was fighting professionally, I was too stressed out. I never had a chance to relax or enjoy my championships because everything was coming at me. There were lawsuits and divorces. I never enjoyed myself as a human being. This is a moment in time when I can enjoy myself as a human being. I have better life skills now than I did while fighting. When asked about the thrill of returning to face an opponent 31 years younger, Tyson shared his enthusiasm for competition and emphasized that the opportunity to perform in a football stadium was simply too enticing to resist. I kind of dig being seen by 80,000 people, he said. Charles on Tyson, Jake Paul. I actually have Mike Tyson's money one. I'm gonna show love to Mike Tyson. Give us in the Mike Tyson Kush. This is Mike Tyson Kush, yeah, straight from his farm. We had someone go out and grab it for us, yeah. Mike Tyson, this is your stock. Don't give a bollocks. I wear 14 ounce gloves, it's two minute rounds, is it? It's a two minute rounds, who gives a bollocks? I hope we rattles that little dump. No one gives a f Meanwhile, after declaring emphatically that he will knock Mike Tyson out of the ring, Jake Paul has decided to leave the boxing arena. 
This high-stakes showdown marks Paul's 12th foray into professional boxing, with his record marred by only one loss to Tommy Fury in February 2023. Since that setback, he has made a strong comeback, securing four consecutive wins. Now, he aims to continue his winning streak against Tyson, who, at 58, made his return to the ring in 2020 for an exhibition match against Roy Jones Jr. The 27-year-old intends to leave his followers eagerly anticipating his return to the sport as he considers taking a break after his bout with the former undisputed heavyweight champion INA conversation with streamer Aiden Ross. When asked about his post-fight plans, Paul mentioned that he felt like he would take a break, comparing it to what Aiden Ross had done by disappearing. He added that he intended to go off-grid for a while, though he planned to continue fighting. Paul explained that his focus was on getting through November 15th, aiming for the best performance possible and knocking out Mike Tyson, after which he would assess how he felt moving forward. Tyson stirred up the hype for a potential rematch during his visit to the podcast Impulsive, hosted by Logan Paul, by saying, this is what's going to happen. To make everything short, two men are going to fight, someone's going to win, they may fight again, and then they go to their separate banks and life goes on. Paul confident in his abilities, claimed victory over Tyson, who bowed out of professional boxing in 2005 by stating, one shot could change the whole entire fight. At the end of the day, there's always going to be critics, no matter what you do. That's the nature of humanity. You can never satisfy people, so I don't waste my energy trying to do that. I'm just doing what I think is cool, and that's fighting Mike Tyson. During an August confrontation, Paul further proclaimed, you're going to see on his record, Jake Paul KOs Mike Tyson. I'm not here to do, except make a bag. Every time fighters sit across from me, and it's YouTuber this and Disney kid that, and they end up on the canvas. This is going to be no different. Showcasing his business acumen, the 27-year-old added, I brought this deal to this old man. We signed the contract with Netflix, and we brought him the deal. You're welcome, my son. Paul, the betting favorite, boosted his record to 10-1 to with seven knockouts after his fight against Mike Perry on July 20th. In contrast, Tyson hasn't competed professionally since 2005, with his most recent bout being an exhibition match against Roy Jones Jr. in 2020, where Paul also appeared on the undercard. Paul therefore made Tyson an offer of $5 million, but not only if he won the fight, as the chances were in his favor. Mikey, Mikey, if you can last more than four rounds with me, I'll give you an extra $5 million," Paul said on his BTR Media TikTok account. He added, But if you don't, then you have to get a tattoo that says, I love Jake Paul. Deal or no deal? Recently, Tyson told USA Today that the offer ought to be $20 million. Listen, I don't expect him to come head on and fight me, so I have to catch him for a couple of rounds. Tyson told the outlet in a press conference on Thursday. Tyson took a slight jab at Paul saying that younger doesn't necessarily mean better. Paul is 31 years younger than Tyson. I spar with younger guys, better fighters than he is. I'm just ready for the fight, Tyson said shortly after Paul's first round knockout victory against Ryan Borland in Puerto Rico, his home. The two made the fight announcement in March. In an interview released on Tuesday, Paul discussed his strategy for overcoming the 58-year-old Tyson in a conversation with Seth Abramovich of The Hollywood Reporter. He said the strategy for beating Tyson, Jake explains to me over breakfast, is to just box on the outside and then use my footwork to be more agile and get him chasing, and then attack him when he's out of position. That should frustrate him. His opponent, he suspects after studying hours of Tyson fight tape, will try to trap me on the ropes and then get blows off to angles on each side. AT 27 years old, Paul has made a name for himself as a social media and YouTube sensation boasting a boxing record of 10 wins and one loss, with seven of those victories coming by way of knockout. His most recent match took place in July, where he faced off against mixed martial artist and bare-knuckle boxer Mike Perry, securing a victory through a sixth-round TKO.AS of right now. DraftKings Sportsbook has Paul as a minus 275 favorite against Tyson, with implied odds of 73.33%. Paul has a wealth of tape to analyze on Tyson. The former champion boasts an impressive record of 50 wins, 6 losses, and 2 no contests throughout his legendary career. During his prime, he was a true superstar, dismantling his opponents with ease. At one stage in his career, Tyson boasted an impressive 37-0 record, 
with 33 of those victories coming by way of knockout. His fights often concluded swiftly, but none were as infamous as his first-round knockout of Michael Spinks in just 91 seconds, which secured his heavyweight titles in 1988. The latter part of Tyson's professional career was marked by significant struggles. A particularly shocking moment came in 1990 when he suffered a stunning defeat to Buster Douglas, resulting in the loss of his heavyweight title. Additionally, the notorious ear-biting incident during his 1997 match against Evander Holyfield led to a disqualification, further tarnishing his legacy. Tyson didn't fight again until June of 2005. With that in mind, it will be fascinating to observe how the 58-year-old performs against Paul. While age and nearly two decades away from the ring posed significant challenges, Tyson was an elite athlete during his prime, and he may still have some energy left for one final match. Moreover, Jake Paul has made it clear, it's Mike Tyson or no one. This declaration comes amid rising fears that their highly anticipated showdown on November 15th could be called off due to concerns regarding the health of the former heavyweight champion. Earlier this summer, Paul encountered a major obstacle when Tyson, advised by his doctor, postponed their highly anticipated match due to nausea he experienced while flying. Fans are anxiously hoping the 57-year-old won't push back the fight again. However, YouTuber Paul has eased concerns about Tyson, noting that he is having an excellent camp and added, it's Mike Tyson or nothing. But first and foremost, he's healthy and feeling amazing and doing great in camp. Paul expressed his desire to face Canelo Alvarez in the future, irrespective of the results from his upcoming match against Tyson. Although he has challenged Canelo before, he reignited excitement about a potential showdown with the Mexican champion, vowing to shock the whole world if they ever meet in the ring. Everything I've said has come true, and Canelo should be awake at night because I'm coming for him, Paul told TMZ. He added, the fight is going to happen, and I will win and shock the whole entire world. This is me currently speaking it into existence. Paul remarked that people might listen to his statements and think he was crazy. However, he pointed out that the same was said when he predicted he would take on some of the biggest fights and defeat opponents like Tyron Woodley and Anderson Silva. He added that, you're considered crazy until proven otherwise, referencing his rise in the boxing world despite initial skepticism about his abilities. Canelo, celebrated as a boxing icon, boasts an impressive legacy with championship titles in four weight classes and an outstanding record of just two losses in 66 fights. This stands in stark contrast to Paul's emerging career. The internet phenomenon turned professional boxer, Paul has electrified the sports world with his recent announcement of a highly anticipated match against the iconic Iron Mike Tyson, a boxing legend who boasts a 30-year age difference. The upcoming event, set to stream on Netflix, has faced backlash from both fans and commentators. Among the critics, Eddie Hearn has described the situation as sad, voicing worries about Tyson's age and the potential risk of him being knocked out by Paul nearly 20 years after Tyson last stepped into the ring as a professional. Despite his young and physical advantage, Paul insists he is approaching the fight with a combination of nervousness and seriousness, well aware of the difficulty. When questioned about his feelings toward the matchup, Paul admitted, definitely the moments of insecurity, especially moving up to heavyweight where Tyson has the weight advantage and all of that. He's insanely powerful, and I know he's taking it seriously.